welcome to our channel in this session we are going to discuss about frames in html first of all what is a frame why we are using this frame you have a single web page that single page is embedded with multiple html files by using frames okay now these frames frame tag is available frame set no frames actually these three are available but right now all these three tags are deprecated that is they are removed right now we are using only one tag iframe now our topic is iframe iframe specifies inline frame move to iframe this is simply inline frame here also the concept is same simply one web page is there within that one one portion is allocated to one pa html file one portion is allocated to some H another file within the frames you can use either audios videos images etc anything you can place this is tag i frame this is a pair tag these are the attributes source scrolling align height width name frame border we will discuss each and everything step by step now the first step is create the tag i frame within this i frame tag what we are doing step by step source source is equal to that means what you want to display on your web page for example i have one image i am displaying that image save i am displaying that image save now i am copy the path see this one that particular image this is the image whatever it is this is the image that image is displayed clear now here source is okay observe here the image is scrolling the image is scrolling suppose if you are not required to scroll the image my next parameter is scrolling is equal to no scrolling is equal to no now refresh observe the scrolling option is removed the scrolling option is removed now if you want you can place at any position for that by you are using align so previously by default it is at left position now refresh observe where the image the image is at the right position now what are the remaining attributes width is there height is there suppose width is equal to some 100 pixel you can give in the form of percentages or pixels not a problem height is equal to some give 100 pixel depending on your pixels that vary give width and height so according to 100 pixels this is the width and height this is the width and height now if you want you can give some name frame just to for javascript naming purpose the last one frame border here observe previously for the frame some border is there if you given frame border is equal to zero save and run observe the border is removed observe the border is removed now what happened one web page is there within that web page i created some source here not only image you can place anything either a audio file video file if you anything so i am placing one image according to our requirement i am using either scrolling align width height now i will show you one more thing here observe carefully i written iframe one more time here i given align is equal to left now observe carefully 
align is equal to left. What happened? This one. I forgot to close this one. Slash I frame. See, one knee is at the left side, another one knee is at the right side. For example, width to 500, height to 500. Now observe, this is my left side, this is my right side. Like this, you can create one web page with multiple number of frames. So this is the left frame. In this frame, I am placing one image. This is the right frame. In this, I am placing another image. So if you want, you can place a video here. If you want, you can place audio here. This is the concept of iframe. Now source is completed. Scrolling is completed. Align either left to right to top to middle bottom. Whatever the value according to that, that frame is designed. High to width to name for JavaScript. Frame border, one in the sense by default one, the border is available. Zero in the sense the border is not available. Okay, that is frame, especially iframe. Thank you.